welcome to In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. Today I want to create a short video for all students who are taking classes with me this semester, the spring 2020 semester. And as we get started, uh, we're going to begin class on Monday, April 20th. And there's a couple of things I want to discuss about attendance primarily. And again, just to review some of the technologies that we're planning on using for the rest of the semester. The first being Microsoft Teams. So if you haven't already, make sure that you've installed the app on your phone. All of the correspondence or any messages that I leave you, I will leave it under our team. Okay, so this semester I have two classes, Grammar and Context and a Writing Workshop or Academic and Creative Writing. So this will apply to both groups. Any messages that I leave the whole group or any announcements, I'll make here under Posts. If you go into Grammar and Context 2 under the General Channel under Posts, these uh, this is where you'll find all of the all of the posts, so any announcements that I make, and any replies that you make or any any posts that you share in the space are going to be public. Anyone can see it. Anyone in our group, I should say. Okay, so this. This team is specifically for our group, and any messages that you share here under posts will be shared here. Okay, so primarily, this is where we're going to communicate uh, between all of us, right? If you want to send me a private message, I would go to the chat feature in Microsoft Teams and send me a, a private message through this platform. I would prefer that you send me one-on-one -on -one messages or private messages via Microsoft Teams instead of emails. Uh, this is a, an easier way for me to keep track of any prior communication that we've had on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But again, if you want to post a question that you think others will benefit or you don't mind sharing to the, to the public, then under posts is where to do that. Now, the other platform that we're going to use is the virtual classroom. Unfortunately, right now, they are upgrading the server, so I'm not able to access the class. I'll uh, discuss this more as we uh, get in to the class next week. Now, the last thing I want to talk about has to do with attendance. Attendance is going to be considered in two different ways each day, Monday through Friday, since all of our classes will meet Monday through Friday. I'm going to be, or we are going to be online during our normal class time. So if we had class from eight to nine, then we're gonna be online from eight to nine. And getting started, this could change. In fact, it just everything's gonna depend on technology and how things are working. But for now, starting next week, we're gonna meet during our no normal class period in Microsoft Teams and it's going to be through meetings. And I've done some tests and some uh, some of you have joined in some of these meetings, but essentially when you go into Microsoft Teams, you're going to be prompted to join a meeting. Now, I'm not gonna join it now because I'm recording, but essentially here and under post, you'll find a meeting that is uh, scheduled. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to schedule in advance these. I, I may or may not do that, but just plan on every day, Monday through Friday, during our normal class time, you can expect to be online. That's one aspect of to be counted as, uh, as an attendance, as being present. Now, if, uh, well, let me back up. If the second aspect of the attendance is going to relate to the virtual classroom. So essentially, if you sign into the virtual classroom, you're going to get credit for the most part. Uh, it's not really going to be what you accomplished necessarily, but you're you're going to be expected to join from my class. You're going to be expected to join to join two platforms each day, Monday through Friday. The first being Microsoft Teams in the meeting itself in the live meeting, and the second. Uh, signing into virtual, the virtual classroom. Okay, so for for attendance, that's how I'm going to consider attendance. And you're going to need to enter both platforms to get credit for the day. So if you just go and attend an online class, but you don't go into uh, the virtual classroom, then you'll be counted absent. 
if you only go into the virtual classroom but you don't join the live online meeting, then you'll be counted absent. Right? So I want to make that really clear. And if anyone has problems or issues regarding attendance, then you need to send me uh, an email and we need to discuss it this weekend as soon as possible. And so send me an email, let me know when we can chat and uh, discuss your situation. But uh, this is going to be our attendance policy for the remainder of the semester. Okay, So I'll be creating other videos later on as we get into it, as I get access to the virtual classroom. Um, so be watching in this space in Microsoft Teams. All of the videos will be uploaded here in posts as I create these. And uh, you can find them all here. So we'll stop there for, for now. And I'll talk to everybody soon.